Actually, before we do get into the video, I'd like to give a huge shout out to AOA.com for sponsoring today's Rocket League video. This site provides flexibility and safety to every single order. If you want to buy and sell loads of different Rocket League items, they do some insane deals on there. And use code Zenic at checkout to get yourself 3% off every single order. Do you guys want to be in with the chance of winning yourself these exotic black velos on my car right now? And if the answer is yes, make sure you are following these three simple steps. First of all, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications on so you guys do not miss a future upload. Second of all, make sure you have dropped a like on today's video. And third of all, comment your details down below. But as well as that, tell me which platform you are on. And as always, I wish all of you the best of luck. The winner will be announced at 70,000 subscribers. So as you guys can see on screen right now, today is the day we pick up the very first heat wave of the whole series and you will not believe the price that we actually pay. Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel once again. I hope you're all having a fantastic day as always and today I'm going to be showing you episode 3 of the brand new series going from one single key all the way up to the titanium white shattered. So previously on the channel I have been showing you all the tips and tricks on what you can do if you've got a small inventory or really like low valued items, how you can flip them and make a load of profit. So I would honestly recommend it if you are new to the channel, make sure you go check out the very first episode and make your way back to here so you can keep up to date. And I do in fact read through every single comment on the videos etc and a lot of people were saying to make the intro shorter so if you guys do want to see another episode out let's go for 1200 likes once again an incredibly big goal but i'm certain you guys will absolutely smash that and if you guys do smash that goal i'll have a brand new episode out very very soon and if you guys have not already make sure you have dropped a sub to the channel and turned on notifications to not miss a future rocket league episode and yeah let's get into the trades i hope you guys do enjoy okay so from episode two like i said i'd highly recommend you go check it out if you haven't seen it already um i managed to get myself a load of ads on one of the final trades where i sold my 20xx for 11 keys and he added a hell of a lot of stuff which is probably going to add up to around 20 keys inventory value which is just insane so i thought today might be it might as well be the day where i start adding all of the trash and getting myself some more deals so i was doing five keys right here for a storm watch which i normally sell for around six to seven so obviously i'm gonna add the like the junk the random exotics and the random items on top just to secure the trade because i don't even care about the ads even if i overpay a tiny bit with them because they're extremely hard to sell all right so looking at this next trade i was extremely greedy and obviously you can be greedy in trades if you've got an item and they really want to get it you're more than entitled to set the price but i realize now that tour is Barely go for free keys. I've realised that. I was trying to sell this tour for such a long time. Um, but then, in fact, this guy offered three keys. And I still asked for ads. Just because I was in a mood where I wanted to just get as much, like, good deals as possible. And he added a load of junk. Like, it was a load of Rocket Pass items. But, realistically, I would have taken three keys. And if you've got a tour as well, get three keys rapidly. Because... I can sort of see them going back to 2 to 3 very soon because no one in the world is going around free key value. Okay, for this next item and everything that's in the same category with the PCC imports, I would get them gone extremely quickly. If you've got a small to medium inventory value where you need to get as many keys as possible, I would highly recommend getting rid of every single PCC import you have got for around a key. Don't sell it for less. Like, trust me, you can get a key in the long run. But at the same time, Double Painted Weekend has just ended. I can't see it coming back for at least a couple months. So the PCC imports are going to start dropping in demand. The non-crate very rares will start creeping up a tiny bit more. Obviously, for the fact, with the non-crate very rares, you are guaranteed a painted item. And obviously, if the PCC imports, the demand is going to start slipping. So with Rocket League adding so many black markets into the game, it's quite hard to like keep up with all of the prices that you need to be paying if you want to make profit. So I'm going to go through them briefly now for the low black markets. So with this singularity, the tune and the solar flare, if you want to make profit, you do not want to pay more than one keeper. Because I've paid a keeper, I would say over 100 times, most of the time for tunes and singularities. I mean, um, tunes and solar flares, I barely find any singularities for one key. Uh, but for like other black markets like Taurus, Popcorns and Atomizers, you want to pay around two keys. Because for each and every one, I can guarantee you'll get yourself three. And with that being said as well, what I did with the Stormwatch, obviously I paid five keys and tiny ads. And now we are progressing to getting some bigger black markets where we can like make more profit. That's the thing with Rocket League. If you've got more expensive items in your inventory, the more profit you can get. So this series is going to get easier and easier as it goes on. It's just a start. It's quite hard to obviously get our inventories up. But still, this trade right now, we have obviously have the Stormwatch in our inventory. We add seven keys on top as a starter. And he ticks up with a heatwave, which I can guarantee 
it's worth around 15 to 16 keys. So we're going to have a massive amount of keys in our inventory to buy other stuff and hugely progress. All right, so I've literally got no words for this next trade just because of how crazy it actually is. And we sell some crimson inverted metalwork, which are around five to seven on the spreadsheet. So I wanted a mid value, but obviously I could have dropped to four, maybe five. And I actually managed to get myself six keys instantly for the Crimson Metal Works. I know that the Rocket Pass 3 is out right now. But obviously when that goes and the Rocket Pass 4 is out. I could probably see the Inverted Metal Works going up a tiny bit in value. Just because the Grip Strides absolutely exploded. Like Titanium White went to around 25 keys at one point. So I guess the Metal Works they will become rare in the future. So I'm guessing that's what this guy wanted. And then once again the poster never seems to fail for me to be honest. Like on my main account, even on alt accounts when I'm doing nothing, somethings, etc. I always find a black market gold explosion for one key and... That is what you can do. Just say on your post, you've got one key and you want any black market. Or if you want to be more specific, just say you want either a tune, a solar flare, or a singularity. And eventually, you will find a guy that just wants to quick sell, get some keys in, open some crates, gamble. And eventually, it actually happens. And you pick up some decent snipes. Like I do right here, it happens so many times with solar flares. Sometimes tunes very rarely singularities. But yeah, I sell that for two, so I cannot complain. So this next trade is a bit of a basic one, I cannot lie. And it's pretty much just me flipping all of the trash in my inventory and getting myself some non-crate very rares because that is what you need to focus on. And this is something I can suggest as well. What you want to do if you've got even some random painted items, list them on your post because... These pyros are actually quite rare apparently. There's not that many being listed on the market. So this guy wanted the grey variant of mine. And he said he had some offers. That it was honestly trash that he was offering me before. So I said have you got any, any non-crate very rare. Non-crate imports. Put up a non-crate very rare. So I said I can add the reapers. Is that a deal? He ticks up. So happy days. At the end of the day that non-crate very rare. Is going to be a key in the future. So normally on a day to day basis. Whenever I see a stormwatch on the LFG. I normally just disregard it. Because it sort of sits around the same value around five to seven keys and you can't really make that much profit off of it but for the fact i managed to get myself an incredibly good trade with the stormwatch for the heat i thought why not try and pick up another one for five keys and a little bit of ads so i said i've got five keys and ads he wanted six on his post um so he invited me to the game he wanted to see what i was about so i just chucked in a load of exotics put in a crate as well randomly and ticks up and he ticks up as well so realistically if i'm getting rid of all of these ads i've got so many as you can see on the left side right there i don't even mind doing these trades so now that i've got four different black markets in my inventory including the heat wave which is really expensive what you want to do if you're in the same sort of position like you've got a load of black markets or a load of crates a load of one specific item you want to just sell them individually you don't want to add keys onto the post because then if you sell the keys like buy another item you're going to be shooting yourself in the foot in the future if a really good opportunity for a trade comes up and you don't have the specific keys. Because most of the time, people won't really want to change their offer. They just want pure keys for their items. So you want to do the same. You want to get rid of your items for the keys and you don't want to include keys onto your post. So just say you want offers on everything and eventually you'll get the max value. And just to prove to every single one of you that this is 100% legit, the best method for making yourself the small profit that obviously adds up hugely is to just buy and sell the black markets and I find myself another guy with a solar flare wanting one key like it's honestly ridiculous how fast it comes around and that is one thing I can suggest as well I said it last episode but check your messages every single time because when you obviously end the posts there's only going to be people messaging you all the time just saying that they want to redo trades etc they want to make sure they are getting the keys so you just want to make sure you're checking your messages you will find a lot of people that are going to be sending you black markets for one key i can guarantee it and if buying that solar flare wasn't good enough for one key here is me buying a tomb for one key it's honestly ridiculous like i literally cannot put into words how easy it is to make profit from doing this one simple method but one thing i can suggest for every single trader if you're rich poor medium sized you just want to make sure you're trading in the right time zones for so for eu around 8 till 10 pm and I think us is around f like 3 till 5 is the ideal time because that's when the most people are trading so the more people obviously the more offers you're going to be getting the more profit there is to make so that's all i can suggest make sure you're putting up the post and you have one key one any black market and i can assure you guys it will work so that's the final trade for today i hope you guys have enjoyed and if i stumbled on my words a little bit it's just because my allergies are through the roof right now i've got incredibly bad hay fever so if i stumbled up i do apologize uh but yeah if you do want to see episode four out i would say i think it's on saturday i could get that prepared 
Let's go for 1,200 likes in the very first 24 hours. And if you guys smash that goal, I will definitely make it happen. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you have dropped a sub and turned on notifications to not miss a future Rocket League upload. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.